there's a uh, there's a show out on Nova. It's a Nova show, and it's decoding the dog or something. And the show is extremely biased to the dog owner, and you can tell it right away. They make some kind of ridiculous statement like, "Oh, the dog until recently wasn't considered uh, worthy of um, uh, like for scientists to like uh, look at." That's so it's <laughs> bullshit. Dogs have been looked at more than any other animal. Why? Because the dog's uh, development has been right alongside of ours. So the dog was looked at by uh, uh, Darwin, you know, everybody. Pa Pavlov worked with the dog. A lot of people have, you know, contemplated about the dog. The dog has been uh, thought about, like, you know, so you can tell the show is just totally biased to the dog owner. Well, but in it, they have something very interesting. It explains uh, a group of people I like to describe as petters. And these are people that if there's eight or 10 dogs in the room, they have to go around and pet every dog that's in the room. You know, they, they can't resist. And when a dog doesn't respond favorably to them, they really get like almost like kind of offended. Like, you know, like they, they really don't understand it. And this is a theory and I have no data to really back this up I only have like my my experience with the petters and they are mostly women and um, they really do they get offended when the dog doesn't respond favorably to them like you know so when you look at the show Nova there's an area where they're uh, uh, taking dogs and and women and they're having the the people pet the dogs and then they're taking blood samples and finding out you know why we feel good when we pet the dogs and in it sounds like in females case I don't know if men produce oxytocin but um, in in women's case they produce oxytocin uh, right before they're gonna have the baby to like you know enlarge the womb or I don't know what the fuck and also to um, uh, help uh, produce milk when lactating and when when women start uh, breastfeeding uh, they produce more oxytocin too to create this like a uh, bonding process with the kid because you know think about it the kid's a stranger you know they, they don't know this kid but instantly it causes this bonding process so what they found out is when a, when a woman's petting the dog the oxytocin level goes up to you know the equivalent of like a woman that's like breastfeeding and also there's an oxytocin increase in the dog that's being petted, which doesn't surprise me because when you pet a dog that's chill, man, they look like rubber. They just get really calm. So that's the trick. Pet the dog when it's calm. Don't pet it when it's all freaked out. So I think, I really do think that these people that run up to the dogs on the street are just like, they see a dog and they have to cause a scene like, oh, it's so cute. You know, that fucking bullshit. I really think they're addicted to this oxytocin thing like they can't resist not touching the dog hey, and don't get me wrong man there's plenty of times I'm just drive or uh, I'll be laying around with Ike and I just like him so much I like hold his little paw <laughs> I swear I love this guy I jump in front of a train for, for that boy or Franny here you know it's like it's it's a great feeling but you have to keep it in check and you can't you can't just like run up to every dog that's not how dogs work you're gonna freak out a lot of dogs doing that so watch the petters watch these people that are addicted to oxytocin we'll call it the cane effect yeah you'll be reading about it soon in uh in the abma